Hey guys. Hi. We are here making our the brown bag lunch finalist, which is uh, by Waverly, mm -hmm. and it's a pan bagnat, which is a French pressed tuna sandwich, and it's not warm, it's just cold and pressed, and it is fantastic. So the first thing you do is cut a baguette in half. This happens to be a particularly stumpy baguette, so <laughs> we're going to go with a slightly larger than half. And then you're going to cut it lengthwise. And Meryl, you want to take half and you, you um, pull out the insides? You kind sure. Of, you kind of gut the uh, baguette like a piece of fish because you're going to put all this great stuff in the sandwich and you need room for it. Yeah, you see, you make this little trough for all your goodies. And you can save these if you want, save the insides and let them just air dry and then make them into breadcrumbs. I'm just rubbing a little cut garlic clove over the surface of the bread. And do you remember a long time ago we made this cool garlic bread recipe where you actually didn't rub the garlic on the inside, you rubbed it on the yes. crust? So you could do that. Because the crust is, is coarse, so it kind of picks up the garlic more easily. Um, but either way, the point is you just want a little bit of, like a little waft of garlic. When you taste it, you don't want it to be like screaming garlic. garlic. Uh, so now I'm going to oil the just brush some oil on the bread. And Meryl, do you want to start making the filling? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so we've got some nice quality tuna in here that was actually packed in olive oil, which we prefer. And it's sort of chunked up a little bit. And now we're gonna add all the rest of the fantastic ingredients that go into this tuna salad. So we've got some red onion. And it, it should be said, Waverly says that some of the ingredients are optional. We chose to include them all because that's our style. <laughs> so one of those was green beans, so just, just a little bit. List. Yep, <laughs> exactly, over the top. So those are just lightly blanched. You want them still a little bit crunchy, but not raw. Um, some red pepper. I love the red pepper in this. Yeah, me too. And then uh, Kalamata olives. A whole bunch of parsley. Oops, and I'm just gonna toss those gently. I'm just stirring these together gently. You don't wanna break up the tuna too much. And Amanda is chopping some artichoke hearts over there, which is another one of Waverly's optional ingredients, but we think it's a really nice addition. Oop. Excellent. Do you wanna give that another little fold? Oh, you're kind sure. of all wet. Sure, no, happy Sorry. to. Sorry, and I'm gonna make the dressing. This is three tablespoons of lemon juice, and I'm gonna add double that amount of olive oil. <laughs> just gonna whisk these two together until they're emulsified. So we're gonna dress this. I'm not gonna put quite all of it in to start. We'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper too. Which it needs. It, it does. You think with the olives it doesn't, but it actually kind of, it does, it takes, takes some salt. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Line the bread, the basil leaves. And we're, we're getting generous with these. It's true. Because we like basil. Yeah, Waverly does not necessarily say to use as much basil, but <laughs> Waverly, you can't stop us. <laughs> we hope you don't mind. So now we're gonna gently spoon this onto the bread, which is, take some care. I'm gonna do it on that side. What do you okay, think about yeah, that? Okay, yeah, go for it. And then, Amanda, you can be yeah, I can arrange. my backup if you That's don't right. mind. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll pick up the scraps. And odds are you're not going to get all of this on the sandwich, but we should try and get a fair amount. So we're going to put the top on. Just hold the basil leaves with your fingers. And then give it a nice, firm pressing. Squish. <laughs> yeah, a little squish. And then we are going to put it into some plastic wrap. Whoop. The careful move. We've got long, one long piece of plastic wrap. Yeah. And you want to do this as tightly Super. as you can. Yeah. It does actually help to do it with two people. Yeah. <laughs> it does. And then twist the end. Help to tighten it up and tuck them under. Yeah, and then and you then press it right back on here. On the dirty. On the dirty thing, it doesn't really matter. And then you find your heaviest object. In, In this case, case, cast iron pan. Put it on top. If you want it really get serious, you could put a couple cans in there too. And yeah. then you let this sit overnight in the fridge and it really flattens. Yeah. So let's just see what it turns out. So yeah. we have one in the fridge from yesterday. So here we go. Is perfectly aged and flattened. <laughs> Pan bun, yeah. I'm gonna cut a little sliver. Excellent. 
for us each to taste. All right, Waverly, thank you for giving us such a delicious lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, ah. you're losing your innards. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's so good. The basil and the oil really like soak into the bread. Mm -hmm. It but still has, tastes really super fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get crunch from the veggies. Thank you so much for such a great recipe, Waverly. Oh my gosh, yum. Thank you.